So all through my journey through life, it's been about how do you find your place in this society? And I think God showed me that in, in 84. Um, that's when I broke my back in 84. And I asked God to give me a talent that no one had. I promised him I'd be humble in it. I promised him I would teach in it. I promised I would go as far as this would take me. And he'd have tugged me in many countries. And I thank God for it because when you're on a journey, most people are thinking that you, you're out of tune with yourself, but you actually is in tune with yourself. So my journey told me many things that was going to happen to me, uh, that people was going to take advantage of me. I was going to be able to go to great universities and, and tell them what I'm doing right here in the South, right here in Alabama. And that had been my journey. When I was selected to go over in Nice, France, uh, to represent the state of Alabama, that was just like, oh my goodness, like a warm blanket wrapped around my body that I had something was solid, it was real. And the ones that didn't believe him and they had to just walk, walk, watch me walk down through this journey and I'm showing them, I say, I'm not patting myself on the shoulder neither. I have no reason to do that. And so when I come back and I told them what all I had seen, the conversation, kind of went the other way. It's like, we done said all these bad things about him and he has proved us wrong. So I have no friends. The, the first part of my life, I have them as friends no more because they don't believe that this should have come true. And so they, the non-believers. But then the ones that do believe it's the museums and galleries and my fans is out there in the world, they believe in this. And I want them to believe in it. And I thank them for it too. And uh, you asked me to talk about Jerry Seeger. He is a guy that's have a wide eye of looking at the world. He know how to take photographs. I mean him fuss and disagree about things many times, but to see this guy capture something, I seen that through Chip Cooper. It takes that special eye to get that, that moment and then to add the shatter and all of that stuff. You can't put that in there with no machine. You have to see that with your eyes. Jerry have that. He really have that. And I'll give it to him, but I hope he sent me a check through the mail because I said this about it. And all of the things that have happened to me through the museums and the galleries and stuff, I'm a humble servant in thanking them for it. Uh, Mark Johnson, oh, Mark to me, he's like a little old friend that me and him play and talk stuff about each other because he's a real guy. He's not nothing phony. And he'd walk up to me and he'd say something to me just to get me stirred up. And that's what friends do.